At this point, you're familiar with function notation. Let's do a few examples that might challenge your better understanding of the notation. Consider, if f in terms of x equals x plus 2, and g in terms of x is equal to x squared, and h in terms of x equals 5 minus x, then a, what is h in terms of a? Now you look at it, h in terms of a, we're used to numbers in place of the variable, but what if we're using a variable in a program and just want to pass along that same variable? Well, it's no problem really, it looks a tad different, but we follow the exact same steps. That is, the h tells us that we're interested in the third function here. So let's lay that out and wait for the variable. The a in the brackets tells us that we replace our variable with a. So we'd have h in terms of a is equal to 5 minus a. b. What is f in terms of b plus h in terms of b? So we're using two functions in this case, both f and h, and we're adding them. So f in terms of b plus h in terms of b equals the function f plus the function h, and then we have to put b into each of them, and we'd have f in terms of b plus h in terms of b is equal to b plus 2 plus 5 minus b. And now we can bring together the like terms, and the b's actually cancel each other out, and we're left with 7. c. g in terms of c minus f in terms of c squared. So we are using two functions, g and f, and we're subtracting them, so g in terms of c minus f in terms of c squared equals, well, the g function minus the f function, and then we put the c in the first function, f, as specified, and we put c squared in the second function, g, as we're just passing along what we were given. So in place of x, we just put c squared in brackets. And we have g in terms of c minus f in terms of c squared is equal to c squared, the g part, minus the f part, c squared plus 2. It's good that we're in the habit of putting brackets around the function, as it reminds us in this case that the negative impacts everything in the brackets. So we simplify c squared minus c squared minus 2. And the c squareds cancel out, and we're simply left with negative 2.